Welcome back! I'm Emily, and this is No Expert. Today, we're going to be making one of the best treats of all time, and that is the classic Canadian Nanaimo bar. These are three-layer dessert bars that are just beloved in Canada. Three layers sounds like a lot of work, but it really isn't all that bad. As you know, I am no expert, but this particular recipe you can trust because it comes from the handwritten booklet in my mom's kitchen. This is basically the same recipe as the very first version of the Nanaimo bar recipe. Uh, so while I am no expert, you can trust that this recipe comes from the experts. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's get making Nanaimo bars. So the first thing we need is a pot over boiling water. We've got that going here, classic double boiler scenario. Um, and into here we need to mix half a cup of butter or margarine. We have a quarter cup of white sugar. I have already pre-measured this. Four tablespoons of cocoa powder and one egg. And mix this up, heating it very gently. We want this to get to kind of like a custardy looking place, emotionally and physically speaking. That looks great. It's so sunshiny in here. So now what we're going to do is we've got to mix all of our mix-ins in here. So I have a third of a cup of chopped walnuts, two cups of graham crackers, graham cracker crumbs, a cup of shredded coconut. And now what I'm gonna do is pour this on top and then just stir it up. Oh yeah. And like I said, what you end up with here is something that looks kind of like it's in the macaroon family. And since this is a no big dessert bar, the next thing we do is pop it in the pan. We want to get this as even as we can. Ta-da! All right, so that is layer one done. Now we're on to layer number two. All right, so next up we have our middle layer, which is sort of a custardy, frosting-y kind of situation. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cream everything together. So we have two tablespoons of Bird's Vanilla Custard Powder, which interestingly is white, but turns yellow. Kind of a neat thing. I have a quarter cup of butter, or in my case, non-dairy butter, but you get the idea. Two cups of icing sugar. Ooh, the air is sweet. Three tablespoons of milk. Oat milk in my case again, but you should use regular milk if you can. Coconut milk would also work really well for this. Boop, boop, boop. And then a little splash of vanilla. Move this out of the way, and we're just going to cream these together. Like so. so yellow, so tasty. All right, so I have my middle layer ready to go, and I'm just going to distribute it on top of my bottom layer. I'm getting everything on my pants today, I think, but that is one of the delicious dangers of baking. All right, and then we're going to spread our creamy custardy middle all over here. Make sure you get all that goodness. Mm -hmm. And that is ready to go in the fridge or freezer. I'm just getting set up now for our third and final layer. I have my double boiler coming back up to a boil. Boil! I have four pieces of unsweetened baker's chocolate and I have a tablespoon of butter. Let's put you in here. Now, if you really wanted to get fancy, you could of course use a candy thermometer to temper your chocolate correctly. Or if you can't be bothered with this situation, you can absolutely pop the chocolate and butter in the microwave in a microwavable bowl. And that'll pretty much work as well, if we're being honest. Now that is boiling now. I'll bring you down low. 
We're just melting our chocolate here. We have our bars that have been chilling in the fridge and we're just going to get our chocolate and drizzle it over the top. And then cut to how great it looks when I'm done. <laughs> All right, ready to go in the fridge. My third layer has done hardening. My Nanaimo bars are ready to taste. All right, let's get in here. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. See what we have here? We have that sort of cakey, tasty, barry bottom layer. Then we have this kind of custard layer, and then I'm kind of squishing it down here, but we have this thin, dark chocolate layer on top that just gives it a little satisfying. Mmm. Bitterness and it's so good. I highly recommend. If you haven't had an Nanaimo bar, you've got to give it a shot. If you had have an Nanaimo bar, if you had have an Nanaimo bar, you know they're great. So this is the recipe that I would use. You know, let me know down in the comments if you have any favorite modifications. But this is a classic Nanaimo bar, and uh, you can't go wrong. Oh, it's like salty and sweet and chocolatey and creamy and just delicious <laughs> i can't stop eating them all right thank you so much for being here thanks for taking the time to watch this um don't forget to give this video a like if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this all right have a great rest of your week thanks so much for being here i'm emily and i'll see you next thursday the nimo bars delicious. Most Canadians could probably do this by simply feeling it in their bones, but I'm choosing to use a recipe today. As should you, if you're not Canadian to the bone. You know who's Canadian to the bone? Gordon Lightfoot. That guy's really Canadian. <laughs>